Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today, we are going to make a Java project on stock management system. Let us begin. Let us first see the requirements. You will be requiring a Java IDE. You can choose any IDE of your choice and a swing module to create a good looking interface. Let us now understand the working of the source code. Here is my main method. I am passing an object of stock class. This is a GUI form, so you can create one by going over here in the project package. Click on new, click on swing UI designer and then click on GUI form. Two files will be generated. This .java file for the code and .form file for designing the interface. Let's check our interface first. I have named my panel as stock panel and given margins to all four sides. And this is my uh, J table. Don't forget to add the uh, add the table under the J scroll pane. Okay. And uh, this is my J panel of border layout where I'll be adding my calendar. Okay. These are the J labels. And this is a text field. These are text fields. These are the two buttons which I have named as add record and update record. Okay. So this is all for the uh, UI. Let's check our Java file. This is our class and uh, these files will be generated automatically once you uh, design this panel and uh, provide the names for these fields. Okay. This is a JDate chooser and I'm creating an object of JDate chooser and JFrame. Okay. Uh, this will be required into this constructor. This is my constructor and uh, these lines of code will be required to uh, get the to get this panel over here once you run this stock class okay so whenever you create an object of stock class what we want is this uh, window should appear so we are calling this uh, method uh, set contain pane and this requires our panel okay j panel so we are providing the name of the panel stock panel and uh, we are setting the uh, this to true this uh, this method to true and we are setting the size of the this window as a height with 500 and a width of 600 okay and this sets the location of the window i am setting this to null which means that the window will be appeared in the center of the screen okay to get this j date chooser what you need to do is go over to the project structure and under the module section, you will find this add button and then add your jar file, this jcalendar.jar file. This is the jar file for uh, having this jdate chooser and we are making the connection to the MySQL. So you also need to add this MySQL connector.jar file to this, uh, to our project. Okay. And after adding that, press on apply, then okay. Okay. Then this will be up, uh, available. So we named our date over here as date stock. Okay. This panel, you need to set this to border layout. Okay. So this date panel, uh, date stock. Okay. We are adding our date chooser over here so that calendar will be available. This table data is a method to extract the data from the database and store it in this table, J table. Okay. Let's check out the fun let's check the functionalities for add and the update button to uh, provide functionalities. Click over here, then click on create listener. I have already created the listener. So let's check the functionality. Okay. Here you need to add your code. What I'm doing here is checking if the text fields, these text fields are null or not. So if they are null, okay, we are checking the ID, the name, the quantity and the date. Okay like this okay so if they are null then pop up this message please fill all uh, all fields to add record else if they are not null then i am running this query okay and i am uh, uh, using prepared statement so this syntax uh, should be available okay this you need to follow this syntax of question marks so we are first storing the id the name the quantity and the date okay so build the connection pass your URL, uh, URL, the username and the password. And then uh, I have set the these values, these all values as string into the table. Okay. When I was creating the table into the database. So the stock ID is of type string. So I'm using set string to input the data. 
and I am extracting the data from the user. So we will extract this data from the text field and under the first column I am adding the stock ID and similarly in this way you can add all the data fields okay and then for the date okay first you need to format it because this date uh, normally selected date from the calendar will contain the time also we don't want that so first we'll format it to format this you need to call this get instance method and dot format uh, then you need to uh, extract the date date from the date chooser okay get date will extract the date and then we'll store it in a uh, variables str date of type string then we'll pass that over here okay so we have added all the data then call this method execute update pop up the message at item added successfully then i am setting all the fields to null and catching exception if there is any then uh, calling this method again to uh, have the uh, updated data okay uh, this is the listener for the update button let's check this out so i am running this query update button i am just updating all the values under a particular id okay so whatever you have entered into the text field over there id under that particular uh, row these fields will be updated okay stock is my name of the table then i am building the connection and running this query under this prepared statement and then calling this method execute update then popping up the message updated successfully then uh, catching exception if there is any and calling this method table data again to update the data into the table this is a mouse listener so uh, what we are uh, doing here is adding this mouse listener you can add one by going over here into the table right click then click on create listener then add a mouse listener select this mouse listener this mouse listener will be added over here what we are doing is extracting the column and the row value okay then this get value add uh, method is available uh, in this class default, default table model okay so first we are getting our model by calling this method saving it in this variable dm and calling this get selected row from table so we are extracting the uh, row index over to this variable selected row then we are calling this dm dot get value add and it uh, uh, it requires two parameters the row and the column okay the first column starts from the zeroth index so in the first column the name value is stored into the table so on a particular uh, for a particular row from the zeroth column extract that data so whatever the data is stored the, uh, we know that the id is stored okay so we are setting the id dot set text this text fields will be populated with the data you click over here okay so if you click over here in the second row then the value of two which is uh, the row index and a one we are extracting from here uh, so shape will be uh, under the first column square okay the second row first column square value is available so it will extract square value and set this to text field so similarly we are extracting the uh, name data and the quantity from the table like this and passing it to string and then setting the values to quantity name and id okay this is how our table listener uh, mouse listener works this is the uh, method table data so what i'm doing here is just calling this query uh, running this query and saving the result in result set this is my table name and calling this uh, method set model and uh, this is the method which i have created but it works in the same way as dbutils dot result set to table model method and pass your result set to that and it will work in the same way catch exception if there is any pop up the message uh, with the error okay so this is all for the project let's run the program okay i have already stored one uh, something over here in the table okay these are the data which are stored so let's click on here okay so mouse listener is working it is extracting the uh, stock id the name and the quantity okay 
let's uh, add something okay so all the fields are uh, have been added and then add record okay it is working the entries are getting into the table and uh, let's update one so click over here okay these fields will be added and let's select the date suppose the date is uh, not 20 let's change the date 25 okay it gets changed so it is working okay this is all for the project i hope you understood the working of the code thanks for watching subscribe to our channel for more interesting project ideas Thank you.